Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. This episode features Comfort Arts, which is another first for the channel. I have Apollo here from the Space Salvage Squad collection. Comfort Arts is popular in Asia, grown steadily worldwide. They're a Chinese maker with a cool, uh, maybe a little strange, but cool vision. And for any of us who are interested in this hobby, we all know that cool makes our collections more unique. So let's get into it. So out of the nice shipping container from my friends over at the Comfort Arts flagship store on Taobao here in China, uh, it comes wrapped in uh, a nice tissue paper. Uh, that's helpful to prevent the scratches to the box, which is, yeah, that's a cool touch if you're uh, in the box kind of person. Okay, so we got the tissue paper off. Uh, first thing you can see is a nice standout image of Apollo there. Uh, Space Salvage Squad and uh, a lot of nice little details. Uh, just a little bit, it looks like a little bit of backstory, set number one, um, who our guy is. And, well, interestingly, it's 99.9% .9 alcohol by volume. <laughs> it's a little strong for me, I probably won't be uh, indulging in any of that, but uh, there you go. And back of the box, uh, just some more images of Apollo. It looks like uh, what we can expect in the box, some accessories and the uh, different kinds of hands. Uh, character code, a uh, little bit of uh, creator and designer information, which is nice. Here you can see it says 8 inch slash 6 inch, and I think what that means, there's six members of this team. And Apollo is a, an 8 inch figure, but some of the other figures, maybe a couple of the other figures are a little bit shorter, so it's 6 and 8 inch, which I, I, for, I think that rings like it's 1 sixth scale. So, there you go. Age suggestion, and uh, made in China. Nice details. Top of the box, nothing special. Space Salvage Squad, set number one. And on the bottom of the box, ages 15 up. Adult collectible, not a toy. And let's see, left side of the box, Space Salvage Squad. And it looks like we got a little information here. Uh, which uh, set it belongs to, which team it belongs to, and the uh, six members of the uh, team for this uh, this collection. Like I said, there, I think there's... Uh, some they're a little bit smaller, so you'll see six and eight inches on the boxes. And the right side, maybe I'll put it this way, easier to see. Uh, some manufacturing information, uh, some child warnings, and uh, nothing special there. Okay, so flip up on the cover, we get the first look at the uh, team members of the Space Salvage Squad. Like I said, there's uh, six members, and you can see some are a little bit shorter, so this is probably the, uh, the six inch compared to the to the eight inch. Oh, this girl looks pretty tall actually. So uh, a little bit of backstory and I'll kind of, maybe I'll put a steel image so you can read the backstory things if you want. Space Salvage Squad set zero one. On the right side we see Apollo. Finally get a look at uh, our guy in his orange jumpsuit uh, as well as all his accessories and it looks like a little box that says heads so maybe he has some different expressions to come with him. So what I'm feeling is uh, if I take this out of the box on camera, it's going to be a little bit noisy. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and pull this guy out of the box and uh, we'll start from there.
Okay, so let's pull this cover off. And let's get our guy out of there. Oh, I like the way he's, he's not as light as you'd think. Super easy to pose. I like the joints are really movable. Kind of scoot this out of the way. So he's got a nice orange and black jumpsuit and uh, some yellow uh, work boots it looks like. He's got a pretty angry face on right now, but I think in the heads box we can change that out. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna let this guy stand here and let's see what's happening in the uh, heads box. And the heads box got a nice bag. This one's got a smile. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. So, uh, got those open. Let's check out how easy it is to change the head. How about? So, let's take this guy a little bit closer. And he looks like he's got a neck joint, so maybe just pops right off. Yep. Nice ball joint on the end. And where's our little happier guy? Kind of hard to do on camera. Okay. Smooth him back out a little bit. Yeah, not bad. Easy to put on, easy to take off. So that's a cool thing. All right, let's now, let's do one of the, uh, one of the hands. Oh, let's talk about this guy. Looks like his little, he's got a little friend. Little robot dog buddy. It's always nice in space. Got a bull horn. Uh, won't fit on those hands, so I'm gonna have to change the hands out. Let's take a look at uh, oh, those hands. Sorry for the noise, kind of hard to get out of the packaging. Okay. <laughs> well, I just knocked over all those accessories, so I'm glad you didn't have to hear that on camera. So uh, let's move this out of the way. And uh, let's see if we can get one of his hands off here. I guess just another light bulb. Yeah, it just pops right off. That's nice and easy. And let's see how easy it is to get the other one on it. Yeah, super nice. Okay, he's got good articulation. So he's got the neck, head swivel, got some uh, abdomen movement. Legs have the knees and the ankles and shoulders and elbows and the, even the wrist, which is kind of nice. Got two heads that come with him. So let's see what I can do. He's got some. So here's our guy with all his accessories. Uh, he has his little robot buddy, uh, second head. He has uh, two sets of hands. You can see their fists, one open, one closed and uh, have like one open kind of pointy hand for uh, one of the sides. He also has two little pieces of equipment, which I'm not sure, this says ERT. It looks like a little vial. I mean, if I had to guess, it looks like a vial of blood, but I don't think that's what it is. And this maybe is a fire extinguisher or some kind of equipment used for salvage, I guess, part of the story. Talk about what I paid. For me, it was 309 RMB shipping included, which is about 45 US dollars. So I think for the quality and the accessories, uh, the uniqueness of the piece, I think it's a reasonable price. I usually have, or usually am interested in the military figures, but uh, I think this will be a nice uh, um, piece, a little more unique for my collection. So. If that's something you're looking for, yeah, I recommend it. And I think personally, I'm gonna get the rest of the set and uh, who knows, maybe some more. But for me, Comfort Arts, yeah, cool, worth it. Thanks for watching this review of the Comfort Arts Space Salvage Squad Apollo. I really appreciate you getting this far in the video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed yourself and I'll see you in the next episode.